Department, I could understand how you would see uh, a public safety concern, but I, it tends to be cleaner than you think, and the, the food's really good. We have different working groups, and every working group is just volunteers. We have comfort, and then we have sanitation and the kitchen, and they're all just a bunch of people getting together, you know, working to get things organized. Uh, I just have long-term concerns, you know? We have a lot of people here. We have our own sanitation group, but in the end, it's going to become a problem. We have a shower system where people sign up to offer their apartments and um, people sign up who need showers and we try to put the two together. It's a pretty great area, both a lot of love and energy of people trying to better the community. The true possibility of a human heart to still give a shit about somebody. You know, people out of the kindness of their heart are just like, yo, you know, come take a shower at my house. I don't know you at all. You look sketchy as hell, but come on in. This is our fourth day. We're daytime occupiers. I feel like this is this is my education right here. I haven't really heard too much from people who have been here, who, who things might have happened to. However, yeah, we just saw one confrontation up in the front. We plan to stop at Occupy DC. To be honest, I think that we're going to see a lot of these while we head back to Los Angeles. We're getting a lot of information to take back to the Occup Occupy um, there in you know, Michigan. After uh, about eight days, we went from this 400 to 53 occupations around the world. And then the week after that, we escalated to about 700 plus, excluding the 53 occupations. They have their own numbers as well. And I can just imagine how big they've got. We're definitely becoming a force. Change is not going to be an easy thing to come, but I have, I have more hope, I think, in my, in my fellow human than I ever had in my entire life.